But first, the latest on Providence's financial crisis. Tonight, Mayor Angel Tavares is refusing to place blame following a scathing report criticizing U.S. Congressman and former Providence Mayor David Cicilline over the city's struggling finances. Iowa to Sue's reporter Alex DePrado has our top local story tonight. He joins us now live outside Providence City Hall with reaction from Mayor Tavares. Well, Mike, this 23-page report blames three things for the city's financial problems. The city council, the loss of state aid, but a majority of the blame is placed on former Providence Mayor David Cicilline. This report criticizes former Mayor David Cicilline for Providence's $110 million deficit. It says his administration severely worsened the city's problems. And the Cicilline administration prepared a budget on unrealistic assumptions and financial reports that were inaccurate. It goes on to say the administration transferred funds from the rainy day account without approval of the city council and the administration didn't turn over financial information to an auditor on a timely basis. The report written by Gary Sass, the city council's financial advisor. Critical finding uh, was that the financial management system was dysfunctional, but the key word was system. So reserves, auditing, oversight, you know, budgeting, uh, are all integral. In an interview Wednesday night, current Providence it's Mayor Angel Tavares refused to place blame on Cicilline and told us he's focused on submitting a balanced budget. I haven't read the report. I will read it, uh, but I haven't yet. I mean, what I'm focused on is being very uh, transparent. The report places some of the blame on the city council, saying its checks and balances were ineffective. Cicilline has blamed a $50 million cut in state aid for much of Providence's problems, which the report says only contributed to the city's financial mess. At the time we made those decisions based on the information I had, I think they were the right decisions. It's easy to go back and say, well, should we have raised taxes? Should we have made big cuts in education? I don't think those were the right answers. Former Providence Mayor David Cicilline went on to criticize Gary Sass, the former State Director of Administration, for the cut in state aid, which Cicilline blames for the majority of Providence's problems. We're live tonight with the Providence Mobile Newsroom outside of City Hall. I'm Alex DePrado, Eyewitness News.